Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, I am Bob. I'm Carrie. And this is Life Redesigned. Carrie and I sold everything that we owned. We hit the road full time in our RV because we got tired of watching neighbors throw recliners out their front door and beat the hell out of it in their front yard. Yes, that's a true story. One day, I'm going to let the world know. But we're not here to talk about that wacky adventure inside that small New Hampshire town. We're here to talk about RV parks. And well, like it or not, we are going to see a pretty large bump possibly for the 2024 season and beyond for well camping fees Right now, the average camping fee across the country, and of course, is always going to be lower and higher depending on where you are, but the average cost nationwide is $60 a night. And that is up from like roughly wow. 30 just a couple of years ago. And what we're seeing now is that that could possibly go even higher. Well, because of people like you, Steve. Yes, we're talking to you, Mr. I'm going to save the planet. I'm going to plug in my car, and I don't care what you say. No, actually, we don't care if you want to plug in your car, but we are going to let you know that that car across the country is charging way more than just a battery. It's charging these small mom-and-pop campgrounds all the way up to the big fancy RV resorts upwards of $40,000 additional per year in electric costs. That's something to be interesting. Now, right now, according to Car and Driver, the average cost of charging an electric vehicle can range between $9 and $40 per car. Wow. So if you have a thousand spaces, it is not unconceivable to go, hey, $40,000 in a single day. Now, we know that there isn't gonna be a thousand cars coming in all at once, but you figure over the course of that time, it's crazy. Just where we are now, in Thousand Trails Orlando, in our little loop, there are four electric cars being charged. And y'all will be the first to complain when we lose power. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. No, no joke. So now what we're finding is that not only is it the associated cost with charging those vehicles, but it is the cost of the infrastructure that's going in to meet the extra demand for electricity, plain and simple. So now what used to be a 30 amp service park has to become 50 amp to cover these big massive land yachts that come rolling in and you know who you are. But uh, in these class A's that are huge, they need 50 amp service. Yeah. So they had to have an infrastructure bump there. And now on top of it, Steve comes in with his class A triple axle diesel pushing machine plugs into the 50 amp with his six air conditioners and everything else. And now he wants to charge his Tesla Model ZY4 or whatever. Um, and it puts an increased demand. So you're gonna start seeing rates climb, especially with the demand for electric vehicles. And it's an argument to be made that they're saving the planet, which is Are good. Are they? Well, it is good, but yeah, they're not saving our wallets. And so we're seeing places now who have already said, hey, we need to, you can't charge your electric vehicle. In fact, we know a couple of state parks that have said absolutely no to charging electric vehicles. And yet, just because you paid $60 at the state park does not give you the right to stay to hell with the rules and plug it in anyway. Yeah, that's another thing we've seen. Uh, <laughs> there was one state park in Alabama that took over a uh, adjacent spot yeah. and just decided they're gonna randomly plug in their, whatever it was, Toyota or whatever it was and charge the vehicle because they didn't want to overload their power circuits. I don't know. We're not electric car people. We don't know much about it, but we do know they're expensive. And we do know that this is something to look forward to for those of you who are complaining about the costs associated with camping and how it skyrocketed through the pandemic and beyond. Um, this is something to look forward to in the upcoming season. We're curious where you stand on this subject. Is this something that should be allowed or is this something that as a community, we should be saying, hey, um, since I don't get a free tank of gas when I pull in, you shouldn't be able to charge your vehicle no, and, and travel free on us. But at the same time, I'm gonna play devil's advocate here and go, okay, I have a 30 amp rig with one single air conditioner. Now, because I don't use 50 amp service, should I be allowed to plug in my hybrid or my Tesla or whatever? 
because I'm not that class A with uh, six air conditioners. No. It's an interesting side. We'd love to know your take on this as we see the rates climb and uh, yeah, let us know in and the comments below. You shouldn't be able to do it just because you have a membership. <sighs> I this don't is, know. She's feisty on this subject. I don't folks. like it. It's, it's just stupid and it's taken advantage. Yeah, so we'd love to know your opinion. Probably our most controversial video ever, except for when we explain who we are and what we do and why she's Penelope and I'm Chuck. Until next time, I'm Bob. I'm Carrie. And this has been Life Redesign.